This right here is the A22 cargo bag. The empty weight for this load is 500 pounds. It's the minimum safe flying load. Max weight is 2,200 pounds. You're looking for anything in between. When you come up here for your inspection, you're going to start right here at the apex, just like you do on all the other loads. You're going to make sure that you have a pin, spacer, if you have a UH-60 inbound, a bolt, castellated nut facing outwards, and a cotter pin. You're going to drop it, come up to your lifting leg, you're going to come to your grab hook assembly. You're going to make sure that it's not inverted. Roller portion is on the inside of the potted eye. The chains aren't routed through the potted eye. You're going to check your link count of three. Next, you're going to move on to your lifting chain. Make sure that it's routed once and once only through your medium clevis. Medium clevis is used as a primary lifting point on this load. No other clevis. It's got a rated capacity of 6,250 pounds. When you pick up your clevis, you need to pick it up by the nuts. All right? You need to ensure that the nuts are present, hand tight, and secured with a piece of 2-inch tape on either side. As soon as you're done, pick it up and throw it over your shoulder. All right? We got very lucky. Our number one is directly in front of us. It needs to be all the way to the left or all the way to the right. It doesn't matter, either of the two. All right? A lot of times you're going to come up with this load and this is going to be twisted just like this. You cannot inspect your suspension webbings like this. You need to rotate your clevis until three suspension webbings are laying flat on the load and one is hiked up in the air. I'm right hand dominant. I do all my, hand, I do all my work with my right hand. My left hand, I'm going to keep on the, on the side of the clevis, and I'm going to keep it in the same place the entire time. It's not going to move. And I'm going to arch back just a little bit to put tension on this to keep it up off the load and perfectly straight. Our inspection sequence for our 24-inch suspension webbings start out here at the base. You're going to ensure that your straps are flat. Your hook is down. You can tell this by running your thumb across the back of it, make sure that it's straight and flat across. Then you're going to make sure that it's secured with 2-inch tape. Rock back, make sure that you have no more than half a twist all the way down. Now you can't go anywhere until you find your number two. Right? Number two is going to cause us to go to the left. Therefore, for the rest of this time, we're going to be moving left around the loop. If at any time we have to stop and go back in this direction, it's going to be a deficiency. It means your hooks are out of sequence. All right? We're going to grab our number two. We're going to come up here. We're going to make sure that our straps are flat. Our hook is down. It is taped, no more than half a twist. This is a half a twist. You can rotate your clevis 90 degrees in either direction. If it gets that twist completely out, you're good. All right, we already know we're moving left, so we don't even need to fiddle with this right here trying to find our number three. Just start moving in that direction. It's gonna lift up off the load and it's gonna be right in front of you. You're gonna reach forward, make sure that your straps are flat, your hook is down, it is taped, no more than half a twist. Again, we know we're going in this direction around the load. You're going to head there. All three of these are going to fall on top of the load. The one you're inspecting is going to be lifted up off the load and waiting for you to inspect it. Straps are flat. Hook is down. It is taped. No more than half a twist. That is when you're done with your 24 inch suspension weapons. You're going to drop your clevis. You're going to take your hand, slap the middle of the load. Doing that, your hand's going to land right here on your 188. It's going to remind you to inspect them. What you're going to do is you're going to take your hand, run it across the 188, make sure it goes under the vertical strap, over the side, and behind the lateral strap. No twists, all the way down to the first seam, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. You're going to come across and you're going to do the same thing on this side. Under the vertical strap, under this lateral, and no twists all the way down to the first seam. Then you're going to work on this 188 goes under the vertical strap, under the lateral, no twists all the way to the first seam, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. Come across, run your hand under the vertical strap, make sure you can get under this lateral, no twists all the way down to the first seam. It's going to put you on your first corner. You're going to go ahead and start your corner sequence from right here. You're going to go top to bottom, bottom to top. By that, I mean you're going to check your, your lateral straps, upper, middle, and lower straps. And then going back up, you're going to check your lacing cord. On the upper lateral strap, you're going to start off on one side. You're going to make sure there are no twists all the way to the other side. You're going to inspect green, green, metal, green, ensuring that there's no quick release. And make sure your excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists, green, green, metal, green, 
Excess is tape and secured to itself. No twists. Green, green, metal, green. Excess is tape and secured to itself. It is type 3 nylon. It's the first thing you're going to do inspecting your lacing cord. You're going to take your fingers, run it across the bottom, ensuring that it's round and smooth to the touch. It is type 3 nylon. Ground to sky. Crossed in the middle. Ground to sky. Tied in a knot. Your excess is taped and secured to itself. You move around to your next corner. No twists. Green, green, metal, green. Excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists. Green, green, metal, green. Excess is taped and secured to itself. When you're checking these, I'm running my hands behind the excess to make sure that I've got the lacing cord on one side and the tape on the other, ensuring that the tape is not routed around the lacing cord. That would be a deficiency. No twists. Green, green, metal, green. Excess is taped and secured to itself. We're going to have to fix that. It is type 3 nylon. Ground to sky, crossed in the middle, ground to sky, tied in a knot, excess is taped and secured to itself. Work your way around, no twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. It is type 3 nylon, ground to sky, crossed in the middle, Around the sky, tied in a knot, excess is taped and secured to itself. You're going to work your way to your last corner. No twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. No twists, green, green, metal, green, excess is taped and secured to itself. It is type 3 nylon. Around the sky, crossed in the middle. Ground the sky, tied in a knot, excess is taped and secured to itself. That completes all four corners. Your last point of inspection is your scuff pad assembly down here. You're going to make sure it's not inverted. If you'll notice, this vertical strap is sewn to the outside of this scuff pad assembly. If it were inverted, the vertical straps would be sewn on the inside. That means that it's inverted or upside down. And that completes the inspection sequence of the A22 cargo bag.